I like to use the speed boost in NHL 23 to create separation from defenders. Word of caution or word of warning, and that is any contact, if it's a lot or a little, any contact when we're using the speed boost is most likely going to result in a turnover of the puck. So what we want to do is use that speed boost to create separation, and when we get close to a defender, instead of using the speed boost, we're going to let go, and then we're going to use the deke. We're going to take the right analog stick and move it to the left in this case to get by, and then we'll go ahead and hammer that speed boost again, and then when we get close to another defender, we're going to go ahead and deke again so we don't turn over the puck. So how exactly do we use the speed boost? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the left analog stick to skate in the opposite direction of this player. And once we separation to use the speed boost, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold an L3, the left analog stick. We're going to press it in as a button to create separation and then let go again and then use the right analog stick to deke so we don't turn over the puck in this situation and we're able to keep control right there. Here we're on the power play five and three. We want to take advantage of the speed boost, so we're going to push and hold an L3. When we get past the net, we're going to let go of the speed boost so we get more control of our skating. And then we're going to use the speed boost again right here by pressing in L3 and holding it down. What we want to do is get a good shot. We're going to let go of the speed boost right about here because we want to have control of our shooter that way the shot's more likely to go in. Right analog stick up for the fire the wrist shot. Left analog stick to the top right corner. And we knock down a nice goal. 